Hello there, this is Oracle here with a Capricorn season reading. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time, well, it is time specific, <laughs> but it is not sign specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. This is for Capricorn season, which is what we are in currently. So we're going to see what the Capricorn season vibes are bringing for us. Happy birthday to Cappies. Okay. I'm going to be getting an oracle message about this season, maybe even two or three, and move from there. Aha! Uh -huh. This <laughs> this coincides with what um, I just read in two consecutive readings. It says, we're here, trick or treating. Someone's going to find out if something was a trick or a treat, basically. It's like karma doesn't miss an address. And literally, that is what I picked up on. Good or bad? Are you in for a treat or are you in for some tricks? And I don't know why, but like even with the New Year's Eve and the New Year's transitions, I've been having this like itch. And <laughs> I was this close to posting like a caption of the community board, like, may we all get what we put out. <laughs> and that can mean two things. May we all get what we put out, guys. Like, what have you been putting out? Have you been putting trash <laughs> out? Or have you been putting good energy? And uh, have you been a good good noodle or a bad noodle? That's what it's giving. I literally got that feeling as the new year transitioned. I really feel karmic energy um, balancing. And again, you get what you put out. What you give is what you get. And that can mean one of two things. But the fact that the card says we're here, that is literally the energy of an arrival. Tricks or treats. Mm. The power of three is in this card. The number five is also a card of our number of changes, transitions, but also trouble. Okay? And this energy has been here. I literally couldn't escape it. I did two readings and they are so similar. Invasion, boundaries, violated, and dominance. So somebody here could be very, very uncomfortable with this energy closing in. Okay. Somebody here might also um, act strange. I don't know how to explain it other than a person getting the ick of a situation. Something here is also, I feel, ending. Okay, something could happen in a... We'll see, favorable or unfavorable way. It's kind of, as I said... Uh... Three, three, three. Release your power. Holding on way too tight. There's someone here. There is like a power dynamic going on. This has a lot to do with control. And I feel with release your power here, it's like somebody is learning that they can't control things. Somebody is learning that they're maybe holding on too tightly to something or what they thought they once had control over, they do not. This is a very strange energy. Can I get one more here? transitions to the spirit realm so i almost feel like this is maybe communications with the other side or communications that we're getting in synchronicities uh, angel numbers stuff like that it's giving me like a transitional phase that might be tough so there is maybe encouragement guidance coming from other ways i don't know how to explain it other than you might get a dream that might show you something um, you might get intuitive hits to look into something. You might want to pray and seek guidance during this time. And it almost feels like there's assistance in this transition. Okay? This could be from your ancestors. Um, who knows? But it's kind of like holding on to what you know to be true. And it just feels like an energy of buckling up because something unexpected could unfold here. The past returns for some time is in the reverse. This could have a lot to do with maybe somebody clearing out past karma or clearing out matters of the past. Um, it's almost like so that the ghost of one's past won't become a recurring theme. That's what I'm... I'm literally feeling that. This is a weird energy. Capricorn season, what is up? Okay. Mm -mm. There's a spiritual lesson in this. 16 breaks down to a 7. Okay, there's a spiritual lesson in these changes. Ooh. Ooh. You are rare and free. There's not many like you. I'm getting the energy of very specific. Something is specific. Maybe someone here is 
coming out of a space of feeling maybe oppressed or stuck to one set path you are rare and free and there are not many like you so it's like there's an energy of individualism here i don't know how to explain it other than my path is mine and unique to myself and somebody here could be trying to figure that out life is brief bright and beautiful and yours to live wow that really goes hand in hand it's yours to live somebody here might be afraid of change and it's like a change is evident i don't know it just feels a little bit fear-based it's like they need to step into a new side of themselves or or execute that new side of themselves but it requires change set your course know where you wish to go have a plan and the right direction again i feel a little bit of fear or, or somebody here might be intimidated by this wave by this current okay but something is here and i really feel the energy of good karma or bad karma now not everybody believes in karma but i do believe in what you put out is what you receive in some way shape or form okay I feel something very strange in the air. It kind of reads like if somebody wished very ill on a person, they might see similar events unfolding for them. Um, there's just a worry in the air, a very strong energy of worry. Well, <laughs> let's see, guys. What are spiritual lessons um, attached to this? But seriously, the first card is the strongest for me. Something is arriving. And again, it's not particularly good or bad. It depends. Denial. Uh, something here could... Mm, fear. <laughs> something here could crack something open. A person could have been in denial for a, a while. Because it's like they're maybe afraid of the consequences. Which is also a theme that I've been getting in the last few readings. It's like it was better to ignore it. It was better to just pretend that issue wasn't a problem. Denial. Confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> there's someone here who wanted a personal reading there could be a message in here for you as well you know who you are <laughs> you just sent me an email as i'm filming this anyway denial i'm just seeing somebody snatch snatch a blindfold off a person this could be denial of oneself denial of a role they've played in a situation denial of what is really in front of them this could also be a painful season for people who see the potential in certain things and it's like <sighs> fear and denial can definitely go hand in hand it's like i'm afraid of the truth that's why i choose to live in denial and the truth can definitely show something about ourselves <laughs> that we don't want to see or of another this is a very strange energy adversity 555 five, five. this card is back which is kind of strange because i literally just did a reading where it said acceptance and adversity it's like challenge accepted you don't really have a choice i'm hearing that is wild so this is a very uncomfortable time for people who go against the flow of things or for people who maybe challenge the natural course of things. I'm also hearing something about a life cycle. So you know when they say flies have a very short lifespan, there's something here that has a life cycle. There's a season here that is coming to an end. And I feel a very strong energy of a person counteracting that ending. And it's going to be very ugly for whoever that is, okay? It's like I'm just seeing this energy of stoking the fire, causing trouble, afraid of change, and not being sure of what's at the other end of an ending in a person's life here. It's like a phase is ending. Um, this person lacks the courage, perhaps. I'm also hearing something about cowardice behavior. <laughs> Courage, the cowardly dog. I'm just playing. Discipline. This is maybe teaching this person discipline and what they choose to set their mind to because I just, I kind of get that vibe here a little bit. It's like set your course, be disciplined with the direction you choose to go down. If something doesn't jive well with you, just be about it. Like it's giving this energy of just be about what you say, be about what you believe in, 
and stick to it and it's really strange i don't know how to explain it but this is somebody who maybe had self-esteem problems and again um this energy is fluid this could be you maybe you identify in certain parts of this story but i'm reading a collective energy for capricorn season as a whole um i'm also hearing staring the pot <laughs> okay let's see i'm gonna grab this deck i already see the tower what do we need to know adversity denial maybe somebody brought upon adversity in their life by being in denial of a problem you know and it's like a, a problem snowballs itself into a bigger problem eventually yeah it's giving if i ignore it long enough it is not true i lie because <laughs> the problem is arriving i literally feel that for someone here something just feels so strange and I feel like the only reason why this adversity came at a later date is because somebody chose to ignore an issue. Somebody here um, is learning a very big lesson of what it is like to not live in denial. King of Pentacles. Somebody here could have carried a lot of burdens on themselves lately. Or this is a, a burdensome season to carry around. But it's at its final stage with the Ten of Wands. They can't carry this anymore. Maybe somebody thought they could. There's a burden. It could be an emotional burden. It could be a mental one. It could be a physical one, financial one. There's a burden a person's carrying. Something unexpected is unfolding. Let's see if we can get an overall energy at the bottom of the deck for this campaign season. Seven of Wands. Someone here is having their guards up. They might need to defend themselves from this said adversity. This is a time where a person might maybe need to stand up for what they believe in, be about it, as I said, or generally guard their energy from something that is meant to end, perhaps. Five of Pentacles yeah and judgment i'm hearing the words neglect somebody here maybe needs to stand up for something they've neglected and it can even be oneself this is a very deep message but it's kind of like I'm, finding sta I'm finally standing up for something I believe in that I've left out in the cold. And people can leave themselves out in the cold. People can leave others out in the cold. People, it's kind of like, I feel with judgment, it's like feeling called to do it. I feel called to stand up for myself. I feel called to not back down from opposition. Something here is a bit interesting but let's see where this goes six of pentacles crooked what you give is what you get really mm -hmm. i wasn't even ready hmm. and that was a mess now i'm going to grab the, the cards the way they fell four of coins ace of wands Ten swords. I'm telling you, there's so much karma in here. That's the ultimate betrayal as well. What you give is what you get. Somebody here might feel defeated in this season. And look at these cards. Justice and Eight of Cups. Something here is being deserted. It's justice in that way. Um, this has something to do with a situation that's been emotionally disappointing. Maybe people are reaching their breaking point. And it's like the only way that I have full justice in the situation if it is if i let it go yeah i have to let it go that's the only way i can balance out the skills here because someone here feels completely like jaded in a situation it's like i'm no longer going to give my energy time or resources to something i'm going to save it for a new beginning i really feel the energy of karma here the crooked justice card is all about karma whether good or bad whether it's in the reverse or in the upright but it will be found in detachment 
Eight of Cups is emotional detachment now. So it's really giving surrender to outcome, let go and go with the flow right now because I feel like otherwise, like there's some kind of L people could be taking this season. Some people are being stingy with their time, their energy and resources because it's like, I want to save my energy for a passionate new beginning elsewhere. I'm not going to be shortchanged in this situation anymore. This has a lot to do with choices people are making. Lover's card speaks of choices. Yeah, five, 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 five of wands. This is a brawl about one's choices. You can have internal fights about your choices. People can have fights about you and your choices right now as well. It's very strange, but it's like it's bringing forth something that was destined to occur, I'm hearing. This was all destined to occur. It's here. Good or bad, it's here. There have been certain unfortunate events that has been taking place. I see it around me. It's in the news. People are getting exposed. People are getting questioned. People are on the chopping block. This is a very strange time. But it's kind of like, again, what you give is what you get. What can I say? This justice card is just screaming at me. The goat man. Some people have made very poor choices that are now obliterating their foundations. The goat man to the tower. I don't know why I feel like it's the toxin that's causing towers. But it's also the toxic foundations that are being obliterated at the same time. So it's kind of like vermin that is exterminating itself. And I know this is a very strange reading, but that's exactly what I get in this combination. It is like the trash taking itself out. And it's not pretty for those who have been rummishing through the trash. That is all. <laughs> that needs to be said about this combination. I have an itchy nose. Yes, this is successfully being done. I don't know why this is maybe a good thing for certain people. I also feel something about like... I mean, obviously, if the trash takes itself out, it's a good thing. Obviously, if the problem exterminates itself, it's a good thing. But this just reads like... It causes friction. It causes just strange, unexpected, unpleasant events. And um, seven is like, yeah, it's like sneaky. It's like bad things. Okay. This is not pleasant right now. But it's, again, somebody here invested in something that maybe is nailing them to the ground right now. And it's like... It just reads like there's a lesson in this. This tower feels very specific too. It's just a catastrophe. It reads like, holy crap, this flips everything upside down. I don't know where to go from here, but it it's a problem that is exterminating itself. And that's literally the wildest thing I've ever received here. Tell me more about that tower, two of cups. This is something to do with the partnerships we entertain. This could also be, it's like a wipeout to create better partnerships, to claim authority over healthier partnerships. Because the two of cups and the goat man are very different energies. One is of the light, one is of the dark. And again, this doesn't have to be love related. It's just who we choose to entertain um, from our shadow side or from our light side. Like you can entertain relationships based on your shadow side. Let's say you are a very lustful person in spirit at some point in your life and you entertain a relationship through that lustful spirit. Let's say you're a very envious person or a very possessive person once upon a time and you choose to entertain that connection from that envious, greedy, possessive spirit. 
Let's say you want to choose to go on a more high vibrational plane. Let's say you've healed certain wounds and you've ascended through your shadow side. And now it's like I want something healthier. This just reads like a sense of division. And I feel this energy of a, of a collective of people who once upon a time entertained connections through their low vibrational side. It's up in ruin. It's like it's seeing the light of something that is basically exterminating itself. I don't know how to explain it. But it's forcing people to kind of claim control. Yeah, the death card fell right on top of the goat man. I can't make it up. It is burying this ish. Which is like, I. it's a positive thing. But at the same time, there's a very eerie en energy attached to it. There's grief in the air. There's pain. There is suffering. There is... I don't know how to explain it. It's ending a problem, but the way it happens is so unfortunate. And this feels like, you know, let's say a company goes belly up because of this mess. It exterminated itself. Let's say a relationship goes to ruin. Sudden strange events occur. It's exterminating itself. And it's such a weird energy i've picked up on here judgment to clarify this is creepy <laughs> this is wild i'm getting chills i've never had a reading like this and i'm gonna be doing this every zodiac season because i'm not a typical reader that does individual zodiac signs i don't it's kind of like I prefer grabbing the season because we're all affected in similar ways. It doesn't matter what your sign is. But this is very interesting to read on. And I had to clear the energy of the last two readings. But this feels similar um, of what I explained in the last two. But on a bigger scale. It's just divine judgment being passed on situations that were going to eat itself. If there's a... There's a picture in here um, in one of my decks of a snake eating itself. <laughs> it's like a snake eating its own tail. I'm getting that energy in my mind's eye. Ho. Oh. A circular symbol that depicts a snake or a dragon devouring its own tail and that is used especially to represent the eternal cycle of destruction and rebirth. A never-ending cycle that is likened to suggestive of the Ouroboros symbol. Eternal cyclical renewal or cycle of life, death and rebirth. This is crazy. It's kind of like something that comes with an expiration date. This is definitely an expiration date. You can't tell me otherwise. But of something ugly. And I, it's like it's it's like I want to be happy, but it feels very very strange. This could be judgment on someone's indulgent ways. This could be judgment passed on someone's selfish choices. This could be judgment passed on a number of things. But it's here. We're here. That's the first card out. Shoot. Where is this going? Four of Cups. Yeah. I feel somebody here could be feeling like denied of something. They might feel like they missed out on something good. Somebody here could feel rejected from a transition that would have actually brought them bliss. Or this could be highlighting a missed opportunity here of something good. I'm also here turning their nose up at something good. Wow. That was in the energy earlier as well. Gratitude. <laughs> right? Somebody needed to learn to be grateful for something. They turned their nose up at maybe something positive. And they chose a cowardice's path. Like a coward's path. It just feels like a... I chose from a space of greed. I chose from a space of lust. I chose from a space of control. I chose from a space of ego. I chose from a space of narcissism. This is a very serious reading. And it's so intense here. 
And this is someone who basically turned their nose up at something that was maybe more balanced for them, that would have brought them something happy. I just get a very arrogant energy here. This could be a humbling experience for someone. This is being obliterated. The problem is eliminating itself here. And for some of you, that, that might even look like you not wanting to engage with people of this nature. They are exterminating themselves from your lives. Do you know what that means? That means that a problem could arise and it's like, wow, now I really don't need to deal with you. This feels very strange. I've never had this energy in a spread in my life. The moon. Yeah, these were pretentious situations. It was like the problem was hidden. It reads like, oh, you thought that you were eating your food from these cupboards when there were vermin underneath the bed of your house. Like, this is very strange. And it was hidden, too. It was hidden. It's like somebody was in a situation where it's like, I never thought that if I really like knocked on the wood everything would just start crawling out it's like an illusion here it's like that's what i said some some kind of illusion is completely being snatched off that could mean a number of things for anyone involved it's like a crooked foundation it's an illusion on a crooked foundation this could be a company this could be a home this could be a relationship a family structure anything it doesn't matter <laughs> what part of the pyramid it's on it's an energetic thing. It reads very, very strange. And I might want to get out of this energy. But it's like the illusions of a foundation are crumbling. This combination just repeats exactly what I said. Strength. People need strength here. They might want to act quickly. For some out of pride, they acted too quickly. That's what I said about their choices. It's like things are just crawling from underneath the surface upward. Um, and again, this should be a good thing. <laughs> but why am I not smiling? <laughs> why am I not like... It reads a little bit ruthless. If I can be honest, it does read that way. It just reads like an energetic Tasmanian devil. Like... <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> does that little tornado you know that cartoon the tasmanian devil <laughs> that's what it reads like i might put that in my thumbnail to make it like a little lighter but damn this energy is very strange hey i'm just the reader the sun yes it'll exterminate but it's like a brighter day will come from this at after all it just reads it just reads like i can't <sighs> oh <laughs> It's like after all is said and done problem is cleared it's like mm, the past maybe a light is shed on the past sun and moon balance yin and yang the dark and the light you can't have light without shade but dang your light is being shed brighter days will come from this but wow a contrast as well mm -hmm. some people just could be very guarded right now it's like i don't want to be bothered some people might have a hard time concentrating on work what they apply themselves to is going to change they're looking at things from a logical decisive standpoint yeah they're very guarded this is a collective energy it's like back up I don't need to talk to you. I might go away for a few days. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to have to put up with this again, I'm hearing. It's like a recurring theme here. I'm over this. Like, back up. <laughs> it's giving back up. Back up off of me. Yeah, I've, I've been hurt by this one too many times. Back up off of me. I'm a wounded warrior, but I don't need to deal with this mess anymore. Yeah. This could also feel like a person feeling closed in by energies they've entertained that at their core they really shouldn't have because their ego was at play. It's like, the walls are closing in. My choices were from here. I'm getting this energy of like being saved here or wanting to be saved. And I really feel like that's something you got to take up with the big man, right? It's like, 
deliverance if one seeks it 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 reads necessary too because it just feels like if you don't belong here this is gonna make you so uncomfortable that you are gonna have your walls up you are gonna want to put up a fight you are gonna want to defend yourself away from it because it's like too much damage it's doing, this Tasmanian devil is doing too much damage. Yeah, this is a a person who wants to go by the book. The Hierophant. That's my God card. That's principles, morals. I'm hearing the word a golden compass, which is something I never refer to when I look at this card. I literally heard a golden compass. What is a golden compass to me? Well, I think that has a lot to do with one's intuition. When you think it's golden, it is solid. It's something that can't be tampered with. I'm telling you right now, this season is very strange, but it feels like hang in there. If you are someone of your faith, if you are someone who has a strong connection with your golden compass, your intuition, if you are a high priestess or a hierophant at your soul, at your core of who you are, and you feel challenged during this time, hang in there. But stay true to your faith. Stay true to the good side. That's all I can say. And it's a very strange message. Very strange king of wands. Some kind of action a person is going to take or will feel compelled to take will close out this cycle as well. Yeah, they want a new lease on life. They want to be rid of this toxin. And I really feel like this energy of, wow, there's like a division. It's like anybody can be saved. I feel like one would hope or think, right? It's like if one repents, there's like this energy of, you know, if the cycle closes out, that opportunity can be there. But this is karma playing out first, y'all. I don't know what else to say. Something you could have been delayed and is progressing. Three of Wands in the reverse. It's also unexpected energies, unexpected events. This deck, yo, <laughs> sometimes it is the basic tarot that gives you the most interesting messages. Seven of Cups. Someone is looking for options on how to break themselves free of this nest of pests. It just feels very strange. It's like, what are my options here? They want freedom. They want a new beginning. It's like now they're cornered to fight for a new beginning that they maybe once upon a time ignored because they were too busy entertaining this ugly rat. Is that what I said? Listen, the goat man <laughs> is a welcome here. <laughs> It just isn't, okay? I will most definitely <laughs> say what I said, okay? <laughs> I feel like this is someone who needs to learn to claim authority over this energy in Jesus' name. That's what I heard in Jesus' name, amen. This energy is vile and someone is like, how the heck can I get out of this? Claiming authority over your life. Jumping when the moment comes. Um, ooh, heavy! Yeah, independence, nine of pentacles, can't make it up, listen, love and light is <laughs> literally um, what someone commented, let me get my angel messages, this is wild, this is intense, this is a lot, can you imagine all in what one, season, Capricorn season is when, now, end of December, heading into what? January is something, 20th, 21st, 22nd, I don't know. That's a lot for one month, can you imagine? That's a lot. I hear you're going to learn today, <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> Be assertive, peaceful resolution, yeah man, it's like... This is asserting oneself. It's, it's, it's what I said. Back up. Back up now. There will be a peaceful resolution. There is a silver lining to, I feel everything, but definitely this. 
if you believe something about one's belief system is so important i'm telling you who do you believe in who do you put your faith in who do you trust who do you make deals with who do you choose to entertain <laughs> no <laughs> go man on its back here communicate clearly wow affirm that's why i said in jesus name i'm telling you somebody here might want to clean their energy somebody here might want to clean their house somebody here might want to completely dismantle certain foundations this could even be a business okay which is so interesting our family business is also getting restructured it's wild um now that i'm thinking about it there was a time when like i could pick up on things which i can still do but i knew where certain things were located um to sabotage the business i was like i call it like a bloodhound you know when you sniff something out and you just know um my intuition was on fire that day it was like oh you need to look here you need to clean up here you need to do this you need to do that there were energies who were wishing very ill on our family business at the time and i remember going in there and just knowing where certain things were and by certain things i mean goat man things it was like there was one maybe corrupt worker who wanted things to go bad and they were hiding crafts it was giving arts and crafts underneath a fridge and my nose, I was like, I just, yo, I don't know, y'all. It felt like I was in a Marvel movie and I was some kind of like Avengers or something. And I was like, there's something here, there's something there. And I looked and I found two or three different hidden locations where this person messed with um, us in an energetic way. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Literally. Um, mm-hmm. Some people believe in it or not. Yeah, listen to your intuition. I just say, my intuition was on fire that day. I was like, we need to look here. We need to this. We need to clear it out. We need to just cleanse the energy. And, you know, it's it was a person that was working there for a very, very long time. I'm talking almost 20 years. You can't get rid of a person that easily without, like, proof. Or, you know what I mean? That's just an example of vermin quote-unquote vermin energetic vermin in a structure that is eating it from the inside out someone here is getting intuitive hits about the vermin that is either eating them inside out let's say you have an addiction that is just killing you slowly let's talk about it okay <laughs> that's something that needs to be getting rid of let's say you have a spirit of envy you have a spirit of lust you have a spirit of greed possessiveness control power dynamics ego Let's say you're always in for a fight. Let's say you're always giving this, I want to be right. There's something here that is a spiritual problem, um, even in a relationship, in a business, that is encouraged to be dealt with, okay? Seriously. <laughs> and I feel that that denial was so thick, it can't be denied anymore because it's becoming a Tasmanian devil. And by that, I mean, it's just a problem that it's causing chaos around itself so it is exterminating itself but there's a lesson in that happening it's kind of like there's a wake-up call in this so let's say this is a addiction somebody you're just out of nowhere they they learn that this happens and it's like oh my god that's the wake up, wake up call of my life i have this illness now i need to stop that's a problem getting rid of itself confirmation Let's say it's a relationship dynamic that was built on lust and lust alone and possessiveness or jealousy and somebody ha throws a fit of rage or becomes vengeful. Yeah, that's a problem getting rid of itself because like, why would I want your vengeful ass within two feet of me? Or why would I want your controlling weird self within two feet of me? Exterminates itself. Let's say a problem in a company becomes so difficult 
and it's like i have no choice but to fire people i have no choice but to do this because the company is disintegrating yeah it's eating itself something like that is taking place and it's pushing people to no longer be in denial of themselves a situation that they've entertained or have put up with for too long and it's like no i don't want to anymore this is done all right yeah man i it's that day was so strange for me it was like i have my gifts were expanding because it's like how would i know that certain things were hidden in places it's like we thought we just you know got rid of funky energy no my brain was like there's something else there's something else it's there it's here look here it was crazy yeah very sad like there are a lot of people who don't even believe in this that's i'm hearing that this also a form of denial some spiritual problems people just brush off and try to slap on a logical explanation for things some people have these negative energies within themselves that cause division within their own foundations their relationships with their loved ones and they're still in denial of themselves and they don't seek help they don't seek deliverance all of that is literally <laughs> in this reading can you imagine a lot of this i'm channeling but it's really here and I feel like this card is for me. I have to communicate this clearly. I have to assert this message today. Because I feel like a lot of people are just like, they're going to start seeing this unfold in their life. This, this thing is going to exterminate itself, but it's not going down alone in many ways. It's kind of like, well, I'm, this is my final hurrah, but let me do some damage on my way out. That's this energy. So you have to protect yourself. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to have boundaries in this season. And be like, enough is enough. Don't engage with me. I'm hearing the spirit of narcissism heavily as well. It is being flushed down the drain, but it wants to do damage on its way out. And that's when it gets most ugly. So consider this like a pre-warning. Do you have a narcissist in your life? Are you dealing with someone who's very controlling? Are you dealing with a very toxic work environment? Whatever it may be. Draw the line. Don't allow it to drag you down with it. And I'm not going to say it again. <sighs> mm. <laughs> I've been preaching. You already have all the answers. Oh, I'm hearing again the golden compass. You already have the answers. If there is something in this message that rings true, someone here is going to establish a new sense of direction to calmer waters. But they need to handle business first in terms of defending themselves. The sense of direction will be very clear. The contrast is deafening. It's like, well, obviously, I do not want to engage with this Tasmanian devil. Do you guys remember that cartoon? Let me get this one. In case y'all don't know what I'm talking about. It's a carn carnivorous marsupial. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, wow. They don't normally pose a danger to people unless they are attacked or trapped. This is, this is what happens. Okay. It's, it's trying to cause adversity on its way out i feel like the divine is clearing this that's what it feels like to me it's kind of like you know when you spray vermin <laughs> and they all start scrambling the divine is like scramble this is very strange this is a very odd message but here it is hey take it or leave it um this thing <laughs> It puts up a fight, this cartoon. It puts up a fight. It's like, I'm going to cause destruction. I'm this little tornado on my way out. Yeah. It's just orchestrated chaos on its way out. This is what I think of when I see this energy. And it's like, someone here is trying to figure out. For some of you, someone's trying to relocate. Someone maybe wants to travel. 
they're getting all the signs it's a sign of the times and it's time to go some of you this might be a difficult emotional transition as well with all this water here with that whale's tail or whatever tail this also looks more indigenous she kind of looks like pocahontas if you ask me a very spiritual person as well somebody here might need to do this out of self-love like defend yourself out of self-love um, there is a peaceful resolution that's a given because it's going extinct something is going extinct now this might stretch out further than capricorn season to be honest but it could start in capricorn season that's what this honestly feels like <laughs> this card literally says stand up for yourself can you imagine what have i been preaching with the seven of wands stand up for yourself don't allow it to take you down with it i'm speaking to very empathic people it's like my collective energy they're very like wholesome good people this could be an internal issue that you need to fight against and i'm here in 21 days so if you need to fast or stop doing an addiction for 21 days to stop start now if this is somebody you need to defend yourself from because they're a leech in your life and your, your energy is just so good back up from it for 21 days a month i don't know what it is and you'll feel very different on the other end claim your energy back claim your power back it it's i'm just getting this energy wants to take empaths down with it stand up for yourself it's forcing somebody to hold that energy in for the ace of wands which is like a passionate new start but it starts with defending you someone is almost forced to defend themselves and it's like the divine is weeding this out it just reads like you're getting assisted whether you realize it or not it might breed a little chaos around you because of certain people that aren't aligned like you and it's like they have to find themselves, but you can't save them all. That's what this reads like, y'all. Endings are inevitable at the bottom of the deck, and I'm getting chills. Someone here was in denial that something needed to end, that a phase needed to stop. For some of you, someone held great potential in a situation. It's like they had dreams there. That's why it's like they didn't let go of something. But it's like, if it's going to destroy me, I should stand up for myself. I should have boundaries. I should say enough is enough. It's like, you have this problem. It's not going to be mine anymore. Okay. That's where it's an external thing. For others of you, this is an addiction that needs clearing it doesn't represent you anymore 11 11 you guys say that i just might leave it there if this reading resonated please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bye